Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-T4 and Sony A6600. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-T4 and the Sony A6600 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 24th of February 2020 and the 28th of August 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T4. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T4 and the Sony A6600. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T4. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6600. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T4. The Fujifilm X-T4 is a fantastic camera for serious photographers. The IBIS makes a noticeable difference in sharpness, and the camera feels responsive and well-made. The improved autofocus and longer battery life are also great features. However, the slightly changed body size and the need for new batteries and charger are a downside. Overall, it's a beautiful camera that produces amazing pictures with very low noise. I recently tested the Fuji X-T4 and found it to be a mixed bag. The 4K and user interface are impressive, but the autofocus performance in video is still lacking. The 4K 240fps is cool but not professional quality, and the camera can overheat during long recordings. Overall, while it has some great new features, I feel it's not fully there yet for its price. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6600. I absolutely love this product, it will be with me everywhere. I got this camera for streaming and I love the quality, especially when paired with cheaper Sigma lenses. It's cost-efficient and works well with an Elgato cam link or direct USB connection with Sony imaging software. However, it does tend to overheat, even with a dummy battery, so I have to keep my space cooled at 72F it can cut out during a stream after 30 to 40 minutes. I've mitigated this with heavy air conditioning, but be warned that it may have issues in a hot space. Overall, I'm happy with the purchase, but for the price I would expect it not to have overheating issues. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-T4 we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A6600, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 